Welcome back to Unreal World. Uh, I've had a little bit of a look on the forums, and apparently catching fish in the rapids is more difficult. I actually thought it was easier, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull these nets up. There's not going to be anything in it, because um, yeah, I didn't leave them there for very long. I only set them, well, in-game about a half an hour ago or something. Alright, so I got all my nets, so... Uh, Right, I wanted to zoom out, but I'm on a boat. So, I don't know, setting them on a Ford, that's not going to be deep enough, is it? Let's try it. Uh, net. Yeah, it's not deep enough. No. Let's try here. Damn it. Alright, I'll go the other way. Whee! Right, here's a river. See, I did have them set on a river originally. But, uh, what's that? Uh, let's try our herb law. River pig, it is not edible. Uh, but it is poisonous. Oh, that's a shame. I think you can boil the poison out of things, though, if I remember correctly. Uh, but yeah, let's try here. Alright, so I can set them here. You don't need to set them on different tiles, actually, but I just, I like to, because it looks right. Um, yeah, let's just park the boat here. I like it being in a straight line away from the things. But, uh, yeah, apparently um, catching fish in the rapids is extremely difficult, so uh, that's that. Right. We'll wait and see if that actually catches any fish now. Alright, I've still got my broad axe in my inventory. Yeah, I cleaned out my inventory a little bit, uh, dropped some food in my cellar. So, I've got six logs here. I can start um, building a little bit of a smokehouse, at least. It will actually be a house house for the time being. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll be living in a little shack. It won't be the nicest thing in the world, but it will stop us from getting cold, and it will mean that we can smoke stuff. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and build... Yeah, I'll build it down here, in this little area, and then when I build a proper house, eventually it'll be up here. That sounds like a plan. Alright, uh, building. Right, so I'm not hungry or thirsty. It's always worth checking. Well, you can pause the building. It's it's no big deal, if you're hungry. Uh, logs. They're on the floor. Um, Alright, uh, that one is not close enough. There we go. Yeah, I hate leaving these piles of branches everywhere. Eventually I'll clean them up. Right, so repeat. There, please. Axe for finishing the walls. Uh, the hand axe is satisfactory for, um... What was it used for? I don't know. Uh, too fatigued to continue. Right, that did not take too long at all to get very, very fatigued. Okay, uh, I, I, what is there I can do? Well, because, I mean, I can just pass turns and let the fatigue run down, but, um, let's see, I had, uh, was it under utility articles? Uh, added items, I was just thinking I could make, um, some of these, oh no, i got to weaken the blocks first. Yeah, we need a fire lit nearby. So I've got three blocks there, 15 branches, it's not going to last very long if I set fire to those. Uh, okay, let's um, push one of these blocks and set fire to it. There we go. Right, now let's make, um, well, just repeat, oh no, sorry. Let us make some of these cored out blocks while we wait for our fatigue to go down. Alright, added items. Weakened block. And I should have got one there. I can do another one, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Should be complete by night. Uh, right, that actually took more fatigue. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. But we are tired, and it is evening. Late evening. So yeah, when did I set those nets? It was late afternoon, I guess. Okay, let's just go to sleep. We're a bit hungry. Let's eat some more elk. Nom nom nom. It's not very nutritious at all, really. 
Right, we got a weakened block and an inferior weakened block. I guess the fire going out made them not great, I guess. Uh, yes, cancel picking them up. Uh, can I just make this while they're on the floor? Like, carve out half cord block. Right, so we need the fire lit again. Yeah, screw it. Let's get a drink and finish my wall piece. One piece of wall. I don't I feel like building a house all in pieces like this is probably not quite how it works. Uh, continue. Should be able to finish it now. But yeah, having a broad axe, we can build a wall in about three and a half hours. Uh, that's just to build it, though. I mean, I've got to, like, it takes basically an entire day to cut down the trees and shape them into logs for that. And, yeah. I think uh, I've got some human flesh. Um, I'm going to go check on that. I've got it smoking in this village up here. Uh, I think once that's done, I'll hire somebody who has an axe. Uh, I, yeah, and then get them to ch just fell a shitload of trees, basically. Because that is the single most useful thing about hiring somebody. Alright, so is it in here? That tree's in the way of the door, and you won't let me cut it down, I know you won't. Uh, ten days. So it's been six days since I put them there, I think. Uh, let's have a snack. Nom nom nom. So, yeah. I think that's a plan. And that'll really help with building the uh, house. Um, but yeah, I think in the meantime, instead of building it and doing all the hard work myself, I should probably make a start on some trapping. Um, and yeah, I'm not... Uh, it's a pain in the ass building trap fences, but I do like how effective they are. They are ridiculously effective. Um, but what I'm thinking is setting up a bunch of... Uh, what are they called? Snare traps, that's it. Yeah, so I'm gonna make a bunch of cords. I have plenty of furs that I've traded for, so... I don't feel like I'm gonna be wasting it. At all. Why is it so fatiguing cutting furs up into cords? I don't know. But yeah, uh, snare traps are reasonably effective. I might try some fox traps as well. I, I tend not to use them because uh, they take bait. You have to bait them for them to be remotely effective. Uh, but you gotta spend food to make food, I guess. And you can use spoiled meat, actually. Um, what is it? Yeah, these deadfall traps are actually pretty effective as well. So I might try that just to mix it up a bit, you know. Alright, loop snare. Make. Basically just tying them into a loop, I guess. Alright, uh, I'm not very good at this. I'm getting inferior loop snares, but... Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, okay, right, well there's five of them. Um, I would quite like some more, actually. Because that's not a lot. Uh, it would probably catch me, you know, a couple of rabbits or something. Yeah, I mean, they really only catch small animals, but um, I, I think sometimes you can catch, like, people in them, though. Yeah, sometimes. So maybe it'll catch a bigger animal. Maybe. Right, so let's uh, quench my thirst. It's evening already. Where does the time go? Ah yes, it goes with me sitting here tying bits of animal skin into loop snares. Right. You are feeling hot. Yes. More cords, more snares. Yeah, I'll just finish making these snares and then we'll go to sleep and go set these in the morning somewhere. Uh, it, I'm not sure exactly where I would set them. I'm not sure where's a good place. Oh, we're ready to drop. I need to get all this stuff off my bed, man. <laughs> like, I'm sleeping on a spear and a pile of arrows and stuff. Uh, I can keep the bag on there. Uh, that's a water skin, isn't it? Yeah, just get all this crap off my bed. The bark, there we go. Right, let's go to sleep. We're hungry and thirsty. We don't have anything to eat. Oh no.
Whatever will I do? Uh, I mean, this doesn't honestly look like a great supply of foods to me. It's, it's really not going to last that long. I mean, I've got three bags of flour, which is quite a lot of flour. But yeah, other than that, I've only got scraps in there, really. So I'm going to... Definitely going to rely on that human flesh when it's finished smoking over there. Um, yeah, I mean, like logic would say, I should put the loop snares around a lake, and things come and get a drink of water and get caught in the snares, but I'm not exactly sure if it works like that. But um, let's go up here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to come down to the end of this little island and set them here. <laughs> Just choosing a tile at random, basically. Uh, i got some heather over there, I think. Is it heather? Uh, three growing heathers that can be harvested in a month. Yes, okay. Um, yeah. So here, I guess, we'll just put some loop snares. And you can bait the loop snares as well, I suppose, but... What was that, then? Was just, oh, it's just a branch. Alright, loop snares. Wow, it takes a really long time to uh, set the loop snares. Well, a few minutes, but... Yeah, I just kind of expected him to uh, just drop them on the floor for some reason. That wouldn't make any sense. Right. So yeah, I'm just going to spam this little clearing here. I suppose I should put them between trees. Yeah, maybe make things pass through them. Oops, there's a tree there. I can't put it in the tree, unfortunately. Uh, I, th I feel like that would work. Squirrels like to go up trees. Why not set the loop snare up a tree? But, um, ooh, no, don't step in the loop snare. Uh, I'm sure that would be unpleasant. Like, why is it even an option? Like, why would you actually want to, whoops, step into a loop snare? That sounds like a bad idea. Alright. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't have a ritual, do I? For, uh, making the traps nice. Nope. Okay, well, that's all of the loop snares now. So I'll come back here in a day or two and see if I got anything in there, but let's have a drink and a snack. Yeah, that elk meat really doesn't last very long, does it? Uh, right, so let's have a think about what I can do next. Right, so I was just thinking, actually, um, for the ease of setting up traps, um, if I just... yeah, probably better a uh, more heavily forested area, but... Uh, each of the map tiles has this border between them, where you can just do that. Um, and ooh, mushrooms. What are they? Let's have a look. Growing pleasant mushrooms. I believe those are the hallucinogenic ones, but I don't recognize them, so I couldn't say for sure. But yeah, this uh, this area along here, like if I just went along the edge of this map tile and just built the traps in between the trees, um, that would be so much easier to navigate and just generally have a better time building stuff. But yeah, I'd much... ooh, a trader. Let's go say hello to them. Um, actually, uh, I should have... where the hell's my settlement? So down here? Yeah. Let's see if I can catch up with him and trade him for a fur. Because I have an entire stag fur. I'm not sure if he'll have anything which would be more useful than that. Uh, but he has... Oop, there they are. Stay still. Buggering. Where are you? Let's have a look at tracks. Uh, yes, the next version is going to have like automatic tracking. So it's just going to tell you whether there's tracks or not. You're not going to have to actually actively use the skill, which is very nice. But off, st <laughs> stay still. Where the hell's he gone? Just like wandering around the woods, like no, he's buggered off. Where the hell have you gone? 
Bloody hell, I'm getting through this roasted elm meat. Where the hell are you, son of a bitch? God damn it. Did he go over this way? I can't imagine that he did. Uh, damn it. Did you go to the village? Son of a bitch, I hate those foreign traders. I can never catch up to them. Like, absolutely never. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, on the off chance that you see them out in the wild, am I supposed to carry around a 24-pound snag fur to trade to them? I don't think so. Uh, uh, yeah, what was I going to do? Right, so I was going to scout out an area for building traps. Actually, this close to all these villages is actually a pretty terrible place to build traps, because you just generally get less wildlife, I think. Uh, if I could just get across these rivers to the north, and, uh, yeah, go visit No Man's Land up there, that's probably where I'm going to find a lot of wildlife, but it does require me to fucking get over there, which is <laughs> easier said than done, I guess. Um, yeah, unless I decide to build a raft to get across the rivers here. Uh, yeah, I just don't fancy building an entire raft just for that. It seems like a bit of a pain in the backside. Um, can I get across here? No, see, I've gone just really far east now. I'm, I'm just completely blocked off to the north there by water. Bugger it. Um, okay, what did it take to make a raft again? Uh, transport. Raft. Uh, three tree trunks, uh, three tying things, and a cutting weapon. Okay. Um, yeah. See, I could just build one to carry it around with me to go up there. But then I would have to do that every time. So, you know, every time I wanted to go check on my traps, I'd have to boat my way out of there on a bloody raft. I can't be bothered. I just frankly can't be bothered doing that. Oh, I would be terrible at surviving in a world like this. I really would. Now, where the hell am I? Okay, I'm right by my... Uh, shelter there. But yeah, I mean, this area here is f heavily forested. Okay, I'm gonna stop wasting time. It is actually late night, so I've just been wandering around aimlessly. So, let's go to sleep. And we'll think about it. I think I'll, uh, yeah, I think I will make another raft, because it's just gonna be a bit of work, and then it'll be better in the long run. I'm just gonna eat some flour. Oh, is it not possible to eat flour? Damn it. Yeah, it used to be. It actually used to be better than cooking it into anything. Uh, which doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense, does it? Um, yes, I need some firewood, I think. Let's chop this down. Because we need to cook this thing into flatbreads. That's what I'm going to be doing. Right, I'll do this off camera because it's going to get a bit... Okay, there we go. I made about, uh, how many is that? Yeah, I made a, a lot, a lot of them. Right, drop my bag of flour back down there. And drop my tub back down here. Oh, it's empty now. I used all of the water out of it. Uh, let's eat these bland ones first. And lots of tasty ones. Mmm. Uh, yeah, so I forgot about my nets. So at least now I can check whether this is even remotely working. Let's check it. Paddle. Off we go. Alright, let's see. Whoops. A few fish in your nets appear to be dead and inedible. Well, it's working. It is working. So I did catch some fish in there, but I let them die. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Everything is wonderful. Damn it, I didn't want it on that tile. No, it's on a completely wrong tile. Um, yeah, so I was going to make another raft. Okay. Uh, let's move a little bit away from my camp. Ah, i got a log here. This will be a perfect place. 
Right, let's chop this tree down. Thank you very much. And this one. Oh, I didn't make any cords. I have to go grab some uh, cords. Uh, it is late evening as well. We should probably just go to sleep. After eating about 20,000 flatbirds. There we go. And we've woken up early morning. Let's uh, let's do our hunting incantation. Shut up! <laughs> yes, I forgot to make some cords. Let's do that. Uh, I'll make it out of this stack fur. Make cords three stack fur space. Right, there we go. Decent cords. Let's drop the stack for it. So yeah, I'll have to carry this raft all the way out to um, wherever I need it. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain, honestly, isn't it? All right, how long does this take? A couple of hours. Not too bad. Let's eat some uh, barley flatbreads. Whoa. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, this raft weighs 80 pounds. I've just got to lug it around with me. And we need a paddle as well. I think I can make one here. Transports, uh, paddle, we need a board and an axe. We've got those. Is that around? An inferior paddle. God damn it. I'm just not very good at crafting things, am I? Uh, but yeah, let's go head over to that big lake to the northeast. Excuse me, village. I don't want to go through you. Damn it. Some water everywhere. Right. Ooh, swans. I'm gonna boat after these swans. <laughs> uh, you'll never catch swans. Uh, you might get one in a loop snare, but otherwise, nope. Alright, let's wield this paddle. Uh, I can zoom out on this. Let's see. Where's the swan? Oh, It's not here. Oh well, let's uh, get to the other side of this lake. Bloody hell. Okay, let's uh, use the big map to travel over here. Uh, this is kind of cool, actually. It's a good way of exploring. I like it. Uh, it doesn't reveal the land, though. Which is a bit odd. But yeah, let's have a look. Are we in No Man's Land? We are on the other side of this map. So... You go on shore. Like, if I just drop this paddle here... Like, that's on the world map now. So, yeah, I don't think I... Ah, a hill. Yeah, I don't think I need to zoom in, really, to travel anywhere. And I could always just build my trap fence just right here as well, actually. Uh, yeah, this is nice and heavily forested, so... We've got some blueberries here as well. If I find the tile edge... Yeah, here it is. <laughs> uh, it seems like a bit of a flaw in the map generation, honestly. But, yeah, I, I guess that's just how video games work. So, yeah, you can see the trees are, like, nice and bunched together. So, you know, little gaps like this. I can just plug that with a deadfall trap or something like that. Well, let's have a look at our options. Uh, lever traps. Uh, what do they actually use? Slender trunk and two branches. And that would, um, that would probably... Let's have a look. Yeah, small animals such as hares and grouses. Uh, so yeah, that would, uh, potentially kill the, um, animals, rather than the loop snares, which actually just catch them, and I have to kill them myself. Oh. Um, but yeah, being killed by a trap is less likely to ruin the fur if it's a deadfall thing. So we've got a big deadfall, eight slender trunks, branch tying equipment, and ten stones. Fucking hell. Okay. That's, uh, that's not all hard stuff to find, but uh, let's have a look. Mainly targeted for wolves, but also works for foxes, gluttons, and the like. Uh, yeah, you have to uh, you have to bait it. But you know, I just think um, I don't know if if fences work to 
funnel things into these. Like, I know it works for the pits because they're disguised by branches, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, the fox trap as well also needs baiting. Like, I could have baited my loop snares, but it would have been a bit pointless. Apply a trap in your inventory. So, yeah, I mean, there's pits as well. Like, yeah, they can't get out of these pits. Uh, but the spiked ones are just more effective. So, see some more flatbreads. Good god. They do not last very long. But, yeah, anyway, I'm going to have to go grab some equipment. But, yeah, I'm thinking, uh, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm thinking some deadfall traps. I mean, a bear trap would be pretty awesome. Uh, it's impossible to even trigger by less strong animals. Um, so, yeah, using those sparingly would be a good idea. There's only so many bears in the world. Right. So, let's grab my paddle back. Uh, da -da, wheel it. So, yeah, I think... Um, yeah, I can just use the raft just like this. Uh, are we on the right landmass now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are, yeah. Okay. So, it's pretty painless, actually, traveling around like that. Got another shelter over there. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go... Mm, gather some materials for the traps off camera. So, gonna make some cords and gather stones and stuff like that. Okay, I've made uh, five cords. I'm not gonna use... Oh. You hear the rustle of wings. The wings of rustle? What kind of wings do you have? Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave the stones that I have in this general area around my camp, because I'll be needing those to build a fireplace eventually. So I'll collect some uh, closer to where I'm going to be building traps instead. Uh, let's try my nets, because I believe they have been out there for a day. What's that? There's something under the water here, I think. Uh, yeah, it's a mallard. I wonder if I can get it. Oh, it's flying now. Couldn't I just row really fast? Wouldn't that work? Right. There's no fish. No fish. No fish! Ah, so the only fish I have ever caught so far are dead. Right. I mean, like, we got a 9% penalty, which, which would affect fishing, but I mean, considering my fishing skill is 54, that's, you know, it, it would still be decent. I should be catching an absolute titload of fish with a fucking net. <laughs> like, seriously. Nets have always just been, like, ridiculous. Get out of my way, little puddle. Uh, Alright, let's go. I should have just kept hold of that paddle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't need to replace it with a different one. Right, so I will keep this uh, as a straight line. And, yeah, let's just keep hold of the paddle. Uh, whoa! I'm so far from the shore. No, I didn't want to... Oh, now the nets... The uh, raft is there. God damn it. Right, let's drop the raft here. <laughs> there we go. You gotta drop it before you uh, zoom in. Because for some reason I zoomed in, whoops, on top of the raft. Right, here. This is where we're going to be building it. Uh, if I can find the edge of the map tile. What are these things? Strawberries. Are they ready to be harvested? Nope. They do appear different when they are, so... Right. Let's uh, get some of these slender branches. Oh, slender trunks here. Choppy choppy? How many is that? Three. God damn it. I need more than that. Alright, that's four. So I'm gonna go um, pick some stones off. Alright, I think I've got everything I need now. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna stand here. And. Big deadfall trap there. Oh, I need a branch. Uh, one thing. Um. Yeah, let's see. So yeah, I, spruce twigs should count as branches, in my opinion, but I don't think they do. Uh, what is it? Survival? Yeah, it's cut branches slash twigs. So I should have enough now. Alright. 
Big deadfall trap. Branch. Damn it. Okay, I need to find a tree that's not a spruce. And all of these trees are spruces. <laughs> uh, I found a branch. Oh! Alright, give me it. God damn it. Uh, why can't I use spruce twigs? They're exactly the same. <coughs> Excuse me. Out of my way, trees. Right, big deadfall trap. In front of me, please. It's hiring equipment. Got a cord. We got. Uh, did it only require one stone? Oh no, it did require ten stones. It just uh, didn't look like it. All right, well, there's a trap. Uh, oh, and it didn't require all of those trunks either. So that's going to be pointless unless I bait it. So I have some dried perches on me. Uh, just one, please. Simply throwing or moving a bait on the trap works also. You are a bit hungry. Yeah, so just the needed one, and using... I, yeah, I mean, the dried perch will go off eventually. It will go... It will spoil. I think it'll spoil quicker when it's on the ground like that. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. It'll still attract the attention of some uh, vicious animals. So there is the first in what I hope to be many traps. I might try and build some more off-camera. Uh, just to make a bit of progress. Was there something over there? Damn it. Uh, no, I think it was just a different kind of tree. Alright, so next time hopefully we'll have more traps.